Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Pixel Shadow Extreme. Uh, as promised in the last episode, I mentioned I would show you how the auto crafter works. Turns out you need a um, an injector of some type. So there's a few styles. Um, I think two. So I guess it's really not a few. Okay, there's three. Uh, there's one that uses uh, diggy lines or digi lines. I don't know. Uh, you have a item wise and you have a stack wise. So that's how that works. There is a plinky plant back in there to make that process. So that's how that works. I'm going to do a jump cut, which I usually never do, but we're going to jump cut right now. All right, so here we are in the power tower and you will notice, well, potentially you will notice that things look a little different and there's some other stuff here. <gasps> no, I missed a block. That is horrible. I must fix that right now. I thought I had all of those replaced to cobble. There we go. The walls are full cobble. Um, the doorway is gone. I have a new stairway in here. Um, all sorts of fun stuff. And I've got this. Now this is not functional yet. I need to make a node detector and set up some Mescon connectors and lines and stuff. But this is the idea. Uh, I'm just going to throw my wooden garbage. So wooden tools, I believe all can burn. So hoping this works. And then leaves. Lots and lots of leaves will go in here. As soon as I get my chainsaw made, I'm going to have a bajillion leaves. I'm thinking I'll probably do a teleport tube here and then a teleport tube in my house. I'm going to have a node detector hooked up to a battery to detect when the battery is at full charge. And then I'll use a knot gate and have that push uh, something out of the chest into this fuel fire generator. However, this is a low voltage, so we need to upgrade this to medium voltage. And I need to make some more cables and a node detector and some Mesicon stuff. So... That's pretty much what this video is going to be. I got a new stairway here. I put the travel net into the like first floor because this is where you really would want to be going. There's This is a giant empty hole. Like I don't know what I was thinking when I built this. Well, I know exactly what I was thinking. I was going to put some, um, some geothermals. Are they geothermals? I think that's what they are in there. But uh, I just haven't done that yet. This is still processing all of these nodes. Um, actually, I did a little bit else off camera here. Um, you know how I was throwing everything in chests? Well, I went ahead and moved those into locked chests. Because I somehow had somebody glitch into my house. Two people, actually. I'm not sure how they did. They didn't steal anything. They were totally cool. I actually um, know the one and the other one is a huge fan of mine evidently which was pretty cool having some fan interaction with them but I was like you know what if somehow they glitched in and I don't know how they did it but if somehow they glitched in somebody else could too so I went ahead and just made a bunch of locked chests and this will have a a sorting tube here and we'll sort into these three chests and that's pretty much gonna be everything that does not match into these two so there's gonna be some extra sorting that I have to do and, uh, yeah, so let's get down to business here. We need to upgrade the fuel fired generator, which I can never remember. Here we go. So we need some stainless we have. I'm going to need some medium voltage cables, which I do not have. However, I think I have tons of copper here, so that shouldn't be an issue. I'll take that those I'll take these I need paper I don't know if I already have paper yes I do beautiful all right so let's go ahead and make I think just one more set of this should work Pretty sure. All right, and then I need. Nope. I need a medium voltage transformer, carbon steel fiber. 
Well, I definitely have the fiber. Carbon steel I have. I'm going to need another copper coil. Copper coil needs raw iron and copper wire. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wait. Yeah, I have to... Have to make the wire first. And I need four of those. Yep. Uh, to do that first. One of those. One of these. I need some stainless. Alright. I think that's everything I need then. Oh, I don't have any tubes on me. I don't know where I put those. Right here, I guess. All right, beautiful. Let's boom. Got one of those now. All right, so let's go ahead and throw that, 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 that. I don't even know why I grabbed those. I definitely do not need that. Uh, raw iron, I don't think I need. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Wait, paper should not have gone in Technic. Okay, so that should be everything I need for there. Now, the node detector <clears throat> uses a MISCON, Lua controller, and raw iron Lua controller. Uses silicone and some MISCONs, and silicone is sand and raw iron. Alright, so let's grab some raw iron out of here. I think two's enough. I believe I had just seen a bunch of sand here. Indeed, I did. And I think I have 24 MISCON connectors. Sure do. All right. Let's make this happen. So let's do one of those. That gives me four, which is, I think, everything I need. Do that. Have Oh, that gives me two Lua controllers. Nice, nice. Oh, I don't have enough raw iron. Well, that's not an issue. Totally grab some more. Okay, so I just need to put more here. Whoops, whoops. Take my no detector. Okay, and then I need a Nazi gate. Wait, what? What do they call it? Um. Lua controller, microcontroller. How do you make the gates? I don't want a microcontroller. Do I just put one of these on the ground? I don't remember. It's been. Okay, that's. Definitely not what I want. Hmm. I can't imagine that I don't have those. Well, let's run over to the power tower and get this set up. And I can at least get it somewhat working. I'm going to have to probably visit the survival server where I have one of these set up and see how it actually works. Because I don't remember offhand. Alright, so we put some cable here. So that now can create power. I have a battery there. I'm going to put some more batteries in. But for the time being, let's go ahead and throw the node detector. We want the red to point towards the battery. That did not work. And it probably won't unless... I might be able to do this. Alright, now... We want it to scan for this battery, so I'm going to have to know what a battery's called. I'm going to have to do that off camera, because I'm not going to let people know my coordinates. Are you crazy? Alright, and then we just run 
this over here. It's finding a node, so it detected something. It shoved something in, which burned, which is fine. But we need a blinky plant and a knot gate to make it... Basically, this is what's going to happen. The node detector is going to look for the node name that is the fully charged battery here. Then there'll be a knot gate and a blinky plant. So it'll detect the node when it is not the fully charged battery, and the blink each plant will make it pulse. And then it'll take something out of this chest, shove it into the furnace, which will then cook it, well, burn it actually to make electricity, and the battery box will charge. And that's a good way to get rid of garbage wood stuff like leaves. And, uh, you know, I only have one solar panel up there so far, so this is kind of necessary right now to make sure I keep the power I need. So that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, I would have liked to hook up more stuff, but I think I have to do a little homework to find out what all I need to do. So, yeah. In the next episode, assuming the knot gates exist, which I can't imagine why they wouldn't, I will have that all set up and I'll kind of demo it for you so you can see how it works. And, yep, then we'll be on to bigger, better, more exciting things. So be sure to tune in for that next week, same time, same channel.